guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of Slow Loop. BTW, I am so sorry that this is coming out very early Sunday morning. Um, I had work. <laughs> well, it, it's still Saturday for me, so I had work today on Saturday, and then Friday, like I said, I was gone particularly, literally the whole day. Um, I had my interview with my other store that I'm going to be officially working because I officially got a new job um, on the 17th and then I hung out with my cousin for the rest of the day and I didn't get home really until pretty late and so I got super tired and I said okay I'll do it on Saturday with all my other stuff but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode one and three two one go there we go So all I know is that, like, from what I saw, I know this is about fishing, one. And then I think from what I had seen, like, late Friday night is, I'm guessing these two girls are going to fall in love with each other. So, you know, fishing and girls love. She gives me like hella Rin vibes from Hey uh Lay Back Camp. Cause of course this is also by those same people as well. Mm. <laughs> I know that feeling. so pretty. Look at her eyes. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> See, Nyan. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, she cute! Koharu? Uh, wait, this isn't Love Life Sunshine, babe. Oh! Oh! Are you okay? Bless you. Yeah, you, you shouldn't have taken your clothes off. Yeah, AKA your future girlfriend. Yeah, because it gets very gold. Oh, so you wanted to come experience it very early on. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course. Mm-hmm. 
You want to try? No, that's bait. <laughs> Did I put my headphone back on? I don't think so. That means it's still in my pants. Well, thank God I didn't watch it yet. Can we talk about how cute her outfit is? Oh my god. I want it. So probably by the end of the series, like, Kohara was gonna have, like, the best outfits. Well, yeah. <laughs> she just turned into a dog. Oh my god. Looks good. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, it, it's good, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, she is <laughs> crunchy. <laughs> So now the question is, what do you do with the rest of the fish stuff? I mean, you know, some people usually throw them away, but who knows?
They both best girl. That's it. She really is. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. What if Koharu is her stepsister? That would be so freaking hilarious, but it's in a way it's very obvious as of right now. <laughs> See? Well, I mean, at least you got Sumiko Haru earlier, Hiyori. Well, you know, now you can't really be in love with your stepsister now, so big no-no. <laughs> well really no she she can choose to still keep her last name like even with my parents and their divorce i still have my dad's last name but you know because that is my maiden name <gasps> oh but i think in i'm guessing for japanese culture even when you get remarried you keep you blah, blah, you get to have the new name the new last name Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, Yori. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna hate, take a little while for her to warm up to you. Trust me. Possibly. Because it looks more like, you know those um type of brushes that you cook on your grill? I mean, no, that you use to clean your grill. That's exactly what it looks like. She already left. Of course not. 
you just have to accept it and deal with it. What well, damn, Koharu? No, 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 no. It's supposed to be like that. Mm-hmm. Poor baby. Yeah. Okay. A little too hard, though. Yeah. Mm hmm. Try again. Yeah, plus she's having a lot of string come out. I mean, she needs to reel it in a little bit. I, even though I don't know Jack ish about fishing because I've never fished before either, but. <laughs> girl! Oh, she is very, not only does she similar to Kirby Nadeshko from Layback Camp, she is hella, um, cutting from Golden Mosaic. <laughs> didn't have time to eat. <laughs> so then the question is, what exactly happened to Koharu's mom?
going here, Yori? Oh, you have extra. That's a good idea. See, this is just making me hungry and I haven't eaten dinner yet. is probably not as good as your dad's but still of course <laughs> Now, it makes me wonder if Hiori is going to end up calling Kohara's dad Papa or if she's going to just be like on a first name basis because it depends on the child. <laughs> really? Oh, she's like me. Can we just talk about like right there her like the shot of Koharu? She kinda looked like Yui from Kaon. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> But this is just the start of a great friendship between you two. <laughs> okay so first thoughts on this like of course with every the the stereotypical cute girls doing cute things and of course this is now fishing I, you know, especially I think going back into laid back camp, I never thought that 
the cute thing with you girls doing fishing would be cute. Um, the camping thing, I, I, I'll never forget how I how I truly felt when I watched k -On, like the first time and I was like, what the heck is this? But then I loved it and I was like, okay, so camping is the next cute thing. And you know how like with k -On, that really, you know, lit a fire in a lot of anime fans wanting to go camping. Something tells me this, we might have a little small lit community in the anime community wanting to go fishing now because of this. I, you know, I can't say for a lot of people, but probably maybe even at the time when k -On was airing so many years ago, um, that literally got people wanting to play guitars and be in a band and this like that. And that's what I really love about the stereotypical cute girls doing cute things cliche and stuff and that you get to learn new things and you're like oh well dang that looks really easy for them even though they're also gonna have to deal with challenges and stuff um throughout this whole entire series but then you're like I want to give that a try I mean yeah I think way before k -On, I always wanted to play the, uh, the guitar and we do have a guitar center like right down the street from my house but you know guitars are expensive and you know your girl fell in love with playing the flute when she was in middle school and stuff and I'm not the best at the flute even though I still have mine now but yeah I think <laughs> Koharu and Hiwari, they're adorable. Straight up adorable. I think they're like the two cutest sisters that we've ever seen for this. I mean, there's a lot of... And the Kira... Well, because they're going to be a part, of, a part of the Kira Fantasy game later on after the show is done. But out of all the girls who have been in the Kira Kira Fantasy game... I mean, they're just adorable. Every single girl in that series is just freaking, you know, adorable, cute as hell. And I'm like, uh, like my heart and stuff. Um, yeah, they're both best girls in a way. I think, you know, probably this gray hair pigtail girl, she might be like maybe the new best girl for me next week. Who knows what we are going on until Friday. But yeah, I honestly think the fishing thing is, is interesting. I think I'm going to learn a lot more about fishing because at the as of episode one I don't know jack ish about fishing um even with Koharu reeling in and throwing out the rod like the only type of fishing thing I know is the ish from Animal Crossing and that's it I I really don't know like the how to's the ins and outs um how to know like this is and that about fishes or what type wha where you should always fish like whether it's in an ocean or in a pond what time you should fish and stuff and I think with this show we're gonna learn a lot more about that and honestly I'm really here for it yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode one of slow loop if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the master squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode two. Bye guys.